we always knew yeah. we were going to have kids. Caleb always said that we were on a five-year plan. That's when I decided I would go off like birth control and everything. And, and we're like, okay, this has been going on long enough. <laughs> Let's see what we can do. Somewhere along through there, we were having some tests on both of us. Her gynecologist recommended us to Dr. Masadi down at the women's clinic. The Weigels first came to see me um, and had a story very similar to a lot of other couples where it was taking a long time for them to conceive. So approximately 20 to 25 percent of couples fall into a category of unexplained infertility where they don't have any obvious condition leading to their infertility. The MOXIE trial is a trial looking at couples with largely unexplained infertility. So MOXIE is looking at the impact of antioxidants for men, which is a very novel idea. Well, she looked at all of our test results and stuff and said that we didn't have anything like really major going on and thought that we'd be perfect candidates for the MOXIE trial. They were very interested in participating in the trial. After reading the paperwork and everything, we're just like, we think this is our best bet. Either he's going to get the antioxidant or the placebo is going to be our best chance. They conceived very early in the trial, which is just wonderful, and now have an ongoing pregnancy, which we will follow. They're still in the first trimester. The MOXIE trial, if it is successful, will show that certain antioxidants may help male fertility. We won't know yet until the study is complete whether they receive the antioxidant or the placebo. So it will be very interesting to see which group they fell into, but it's very, very exciting and it's very kind of motivating to have a successful pregnancy this early in the study. And so there are certain criteria to enroll in the study. And that's what made the Weigels such great candidates for this trial. He's a good baby and we just can't mm. believe he's here and we're just so happy to have him. Mm -hmm. It feels like this is a two-part movie. And this is, I guess, at the end of the first first half of it. We've worked so long, so hard, tried so much for him to get here now that he's here. And we were married 15 years before. Those 15 years were just a blur, a mem just a <laughs> distant memory now. It's all changed. And so here we're going on with the, with the second part of our lives and the beginning of his life.